Give me just a second to share my screen. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. You guys good with the first four? Can I scroll down? One second. I'm still checking because my screen is loading. OK. Um, Ms. Blanco, can you explain the fourth of square? This one here? Yes. Okay, remember that we have to, I'm, the easiest way for me is to highlight the mm -hmm. ones that are alike. So we have 2K to the second plus 5K to the second, right? Mm -hmm. That gives us 7K to the second, okay? Okay. So then I have here 2K, Look at the sign in front of here, minus K. Yeah. Remember Negative. I said when the letter does not have a number, we automatically put a, whoops, a one, okay? Yeah. So it's like saying two minus one, which will just be K. Yeah, okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. Let me know if you guys have trouble reading my um, writing. On number seven, what is that? 44Y. Uh. Did you guys have trouble with your homework or you guys understood it pretty good? I understood it. Oh, good. Andres, you don't need that in class. You can put them away. Miss Blanco, what does number 24 say? Four plus P. Okay. Four plus does, number, does number 19 say four times 410 or is that four? No, it's four X plus 10. Oh, I couldn't see the X. It's okay. Okay, I'm scrolling down, okay? You guys good so far? Yes. Okay, the bottom section. One second, can you go up one more time? <clears throat> what uh, what number, Cameron? This number 22, yeah, 22. Anybody have questions so far from the homework? Something they didn't understand, something. I still need help from 19 to 24. With the parentheses? Yeah, the parentheses. Okay. Um, Give me a number. Um, 
Lewis. Um, like 20. Number 20? Okay, mm -hmm. 20 says, but you, 20 doesn't have the parentheses. Oh. Give me a one 20. with the parentheses. 21. 21. Okay, let me write it down. Cameron, you caught up? Well, I, I can't really read number 24. 4 plus P. Oh. All right, I'm going to unshare my screen and I'm going to go into the whiteboard. Give me just a second so I can go into my whiteboard so I can go over number 21, is it? Yeah. Okay, so number 21, you have 3y. You all could see my whiteboard, right? 3y to the second plus 3 parentheses 4y to the second minus 2. Now, what property is this, Lewis, that is right here? What kind of property is this? Is this associative, commutative, distributive? Associative. No, try again. Associative does have parentheses, but there's another one with parentheses that um, we can use. Distributive? Distributive. Remember with the distributive, we distribute the number that's outside of the parentheses, right? Yeah. So three, we got to do three times four. What is three times four? Twelve. Twelve. And remember that the letter has to go with you wherever you go, okay? Now, I have the minus sign. I'm going to bring down the minus sign. Now I have three times two. What is three times two? Three times six. Six. All I'm doing is bringing down the three Y squared, right? And the addition sign. Now, Lewis, I'm add, I'm left to, to um, just add my like terms, okay? So here I have 3y to the second plus 12y to the second. They are both the same, right? Yeah. 3 plus 12 is 15y to the second, right? Then I, I'm going to just bring down minus 6. So that's how I'm getting my answer. Okay. We got that? Yes. Do you need another example, Lewis? Maybe one more example, just to get okay. to the yeah. Okay, let me, let me get one that's not in the book so it'll be um, brand new, okay? Mm -hmm. Give me a second to erase and then... Um, This time, Louis, you're going to work it out for me, okay? Let me see what your, uh, let me write it out and then you're going to work it out on the screen for me, okay? Give me just a second. Okay, go ahead. I gave you access to to write on the screen, so go ahead. So first, you need to um add four to uh, uh multiply four by d, which is right, one. right. So it's gonna be four. Go ahead, write it on the screen. Okay, I see you writing now. So it's gonna be four d, correct? Yeah. And then what else do you do? Plus, um, then it's four times six. Correct. 24C. Correct. And then you have to add um, 5C. C. And then you add 5C with 24C. Which, which is? Uh, 29. Correct. So it's going to be 29C. Correct plus 40. 
Good job. You see, you did it. Okay. You get now how to do it? Yeah. Do you want to like write this one down or before I take it down? Or you got it? Oh, uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. So I'm going to get out of the screen and go back into the homework, okay? Let me unshare my screen for a minute and we're going to go back into continuing with the homework. All right. So going back into the homework, I'm down here. I got to finish highlighting um, here. So number four, I highlighted the like terms. Number three, the like terms are 2D. Here it's 2G, 3G, G, 5F, and 7. For some reason, I erased these answer. I don't know what happened. N, 5N, 2N. Didn't I do this one yesterday in class with you? Give you this one as an example? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I hope you get you guys understand my chicken scratch. Is that third like is that three E? Yes, it's three E. Okay. How did everybody do with the homework? Pretty good? Wait, um. Yep, we did good. Oh, well, I did good. <laughs> That's good. All right, so I'm gonna leave the homework under reference sheets in your um, notebook, you should have the module 10 study guide. I have it. Yeah, I have it. Everybody's there? Nope, not yet. I had to refresh my teams to see if I have it. Are we doing this together or by ourselves? We're doing this together. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure everybody's there so we can work on this together. It isn't showing me that I have it. Who's this, Valerie? Yep. Valerie, I will send it out to you right now. Give me All just right. a second. I'm going to send it to you under reference sheets, okay? All right. Okay, you should get it in the next minute. It's fast.
All right, let's just wait a minute for Valerie to receive hers and then we will get started. Valerie, you should have it. Go ahead and check. Under reference sheets. I do, but as soon as you send it, I got two. It's okay. Now, number one, evaluate the expression to find the missing values in the table. The table is telling you that X is 10, right? So all I have to do is substitute 10 when I see the X and add three. So here it would be 10 plus three. And what is 10 plus three? 13. So that's going to be my answer. Next one, I have 12 for X plus three. And 12 plus three is? 15. 15. 30 plus 3 is 33. Again, you guys should know by now, this is exactly like, you know, the review sheet is exactly like the test. You guys notice that, that it's like almost the same thing. So please study tonight so that you guys can um, get a good grade on this test. Number two, evaluate N plus 15 for N is 20. Again, I'm substituting N equals 20 when I see the N. So here I have 20 plus 15. And what is 20 plus 15? 35. 35 is going to be my answer. Evaluate G to the second power plus 11. G Wait, is, go ahead, Lewis, tell me. What does it mean? Can you move back up real quick? Sir, what does it mean? Oh, what, uh, what does like, um, like how, like on the second one, on the, on the second question, what does All it right. mean N plus 15 for N equals 20? They're saying to substitute whenever you see n equals 20. They're oh. telling you that n, right, is equal to 20. So wherever you see the n, you're going to replace it with the number 20. Oh, okay. So that means it's 20 plus 15. Correct. Um, would number two be uh, 36? 20 plus 15, remember you when you're adding 20 plus 15, 0 plus 5 is going to give you 5. I meant um, number, I mean number 3, sorry. Oh, I haven't even gotten to number 3. All right, so evaluate G to the second power plus 11, okay? So I have G is 5. What is 5 to the second power? 25. 25. 25 so then i have 25 plus 11 and 25 plus 11 is going to give me valerie said it a minute ago 36 right that was valentina who said it okay i'm sorry i lost track yeah it's fine number four four x what happens when you have a letter and a number together? What does that mean? Multiply. What do we do in this case? Add, subtract? Multiply. Multiply. So it says X is equal to 1.8. So I'm going to do 1.8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7. I have one decimal place, right? So I'm going to move it one place, and my answer is going to be 7.2. 
Wait, how could it be 7.2? All right, so I multiplied 8 times 4, right? That gave me 32, right? Carry the 3. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7, oh, right? Okay. Then I have the one decimal place that I have to move over one space, so it's going to give me 7.2. Number five, write the product of six and the sum of a number and 10 as an algebraic expression. So what is product? Product is what? The answer to what type of question? Multiply. 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 And what is sum? Addition. Uh, addition. So I'm going to have a little bit of addition and multiplication in this, right? So the product of six and the sum of a number and 10, right? So we have six and the sum of a number and 10. So I'm going to have parentheses, right? Because this is product, sum of a number and 10. So I have product here. Remember that the, the parentheses means multiplication and the sum of a number and 10. Sum of a number, is here's my number. We don't know, it's a variable. It's gonna change plus 10. Moving on to number six, write an algebraic expression for the product of a number and 23. The product of a number and 23, that's another multiplication problem. So product of a number and 23 would just be 23 N. Could it be any number? I mean, letter, sorry. Any letter. If the, if the question tells you what letter to use, then you must use the, the letter the question's using. Okay. If they don't give you, in this case, they don't give you a letter, then you can use any letter. Mm -hmm. Number seven, write the phrase 18 added to Z as a numerical or algebraic expression. 18 added to Z, okay? So that means we have to find out what Z is and then add 18. But in this case, remember I told you that Z plus 18 and 18 plus Z mean the same exact thing. It only works with addition and multiplication. Next question. Write the phrase Z divided by seven as a numerical or algebraic expression. Divided by, remember we can just put Z over seven, that could be multiplication. Or sometimes you would see Z, the actual division sign by seven. We ready to continue? Yes. 
which expression which expression shows 16 less than a number a correct letter a number 10 angelina makes birdhouses it takes her 40 minutes to make a birdhouse what is an expression that shows how long it takes her to make t birdhouses in this example you see it's giving you the letter t correct so in this case the x the letter that you use has to be t you cannot use any other letter than t since the question is telling you specifically to use t okay so here it takes her 40 minutes to make a birdhouse what is an expression that shows how long it takes her to make tea birdhouses? So our answer is just going to be 40 T. Next question, number 11. Yesterday, somebody was asking me, Ms. Blanco, why are you explaining all the vocabulary for this question? Just show me um, how to solve it. Remember, I don't know if it was this class. And I said, sometimes on the FSA or tests like that, they don't ask you to solve it. They ask you for vocabulary. Well, here you go. Identify the terms in this expression terms right they're not asking you to solve it they're asking you what is a term and remember terms is all the numbers involved in the equation so here the terms are letter a Excuse me? Yes. Um, I think I got number five wrong. Can you go back up to number five? Sure. Thank you. Let me know when you're done so I can continue. Okay, you can go back down. Okay. Uh, we're on number 12. Did you guys get 11? Yes. Yeah. Okay, 12. Identify the coefficients in, this ex in the expression, okay? So we have um, coefficients. Coefficients are the numbers before the letter. So here we have one coefficient. Here we have another coefficient. So which letter correctly um, gives us the answer? D. 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 Because there's only two and it's not there. Wait, what's the name of the, um, the like the letter and the exponent? What, what are the names of those? Variable. Variables, okay. Variable. The letter is called a variable. It doesn't matter if it has an exponent or not. So coefficients um, are the numbers before the letter. Correct. Okay. Thirteen. Evaluate four x. Four x is one point two seven. Again, another multiplication problem. So I'm going to do 1.27 times 4. Seven times four is 28, carry two. Two times four is eight, plus two is 10, carry one. One times four is four, plus one is five. We have one, two decimal places, 
So I'm going to put it right there. My answer is going to be 5.08. Number 14. Combine like terms. Here, they're asking you to actually solve the problem, okay? So I have here, my like terms are 4x to the second power minus 2x to the second power. And then I have plus 2. 4x to the second power minus 2x to the second power is going to give me 2x to the second power. Then I'm just left with the yellow, and it's going to be plus 2. Number 15, combine like terms. Again, they're asking us to solve, okay? So here, my like terms, I have 6x to the second power plus 12x to the second power. Then I have here 13b. I'm going to solve the two in green since they're um, the same. 6x to the second power plus 12x to the second power is... 18x to the second power. Then I have plus 13b. You guys good? Yes. Okay. Let me know if I, if you if I have to go back. Number 16. Kumari has $9.50. Madison has 18 quarters. Do the two classmates have equal amounts of money? Hint. Find out how many quarters they are in a dollar. So how many quarters are there in a dollar? dollar four four so there's four quarters equals a dollar so madison has 18 quarters so how many how much money is that i'm sorry what did you say how many quarters is how much how, Sorry, how many dollars is 18 quarters? How much money is 18 quarters? So how many, eight, do, eight quarters is how much? Two dollars. Okay, three dollars is how much? Um, Twelve. Four dollars is how much? Four Sixteen. Okay, she has 18 quarters. So how much money is that? $4.50. Okay, Kumari has $9.50. Do they have equal amount of money? No. No. You can say Madison has $4.50. Kumari has $9.50. Not enough. There's a big difference.
Number 17, determine whether the two expressions are equivalent. So we want to know if they're equal to each other, okay? Remember, when we see the parentheses, that means distributive property, okay? 12, we're going to share it with the x. 12 times 1 is 12, and remember the x goes wherever the 12 goes. Then I have here 12 times 7. 12 times 7 is going to give me 84. Are the two equal to each other? No. No. Number 18, an equation is shown. X Ms. plus Bell. six is equal to 20. What value can be substituted for X to make this equation true? What number can I replace here to make it equal to 20? Miss Blanco, before you go on, may I quickly go lock my door? Sure. 14. Uh, 4, 14. Okay. I'm going to wait a second for Valerie to come back and then we'll continue. You may continue. Sorry for the disruption. It's okay. I'm going to move on to number nine. In 19, sorry. Which is an equivalent way to express 2y? Now, y to the second power. Can I express 2y like that? y to the second power is y times y, right? Yeah. Yes. Is that the same thing as 2y? No. No. 2 plus y. 2 plus y is just 2 plus y. That's incorrect. y plus y. Yes, that one could give you 2, 2, y. Yes, because 1 plus 1 y plus 1 y can give you 2 y. y they times y. y. Huh? Because y plus y equals 2, because each y is 1. Wait, 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 wait. Look what you're saying. If I have 1y times 1y, what is that going to give me? 1y. One. 1y, one one right? Now, if I change it to... 2y times 2y, what is that going to give me? 4. 4. It's not going to equal 2y. No, it would be, no, no. Wait. It looks tricky because there's two y's, right? So you would think, oh, it's D, but the only answer that makes sense here is going to be letter C. And number 20, write an expression with a coefficient of 7. So somebody tell me, give me a coefficient, give me a situation where a coefficient is 7. 7y, seven uh, I mean. Uh, there you go. 7y, what? Uh, to the second power. There you go. You just gave me a coefficient of 7. Okay. Easy enough, right? Yep. This is pretty easy, actually. Yeah. You just have to read each question on the test, okay? You just, you know what I'm saying? Don't go through each, uh, each you know, read it carefully. 
but this is exactly how the test is going to be. Now, we have about um, a little bit over 10 minutes left of class. When everybody finished their eye ready diagnostic, did you notice that you had mastery checks? Yes. OK, yes, so I believe I believe yes. there's three mastery checks. OK, so what I'm going to do with the mastery check is um, I do have to count it for a grade. OK, I'm not going to count it for a quiz or test grade. It's going to be counted as classwork. OK, so I don't want you rushing through it and just putting whatever answer. Please try your best with the mastery check. Also, um, I am going to give I'm going to give you time if you need to do your mastery check now in the last 10 minutes. I'm going to give you time to go on to um, ST math. And there's not going to be any homework today because we have the test tomorrow. OK, do we, do we have to get like how, how, when do we start? Doing, are we supposed to start now doing the mastery checks? OK, so how it works, the mastery checks. They go on every um, every Sunday night. A new one comes on and it's not due to the following Monday. OK, so it's going to be a once a week thing. I prefer doing that than doing like 45 minutes each week or whatever it is that you guys have to do. That's yes. better, right? Than so, doing the 45 minutes a week. So are we supposed to do all three of them this week? Yes. Okay. Did you start on any? No, I'm about to start on one. They're they're each. I want to say they're five to seven questions each. It's not long. Oh, okay. It's not very long, but you know, just don't put whatever answer. Because like, okay, I, I understand. Excuse me. Yes. Um, I got my audio went out, so I couldn't hear you. Can you go back up to seven, eight, and nine? Oh, I just unshare my screen. Give me just a second. OK. Seven, eight and nine. Yeah. Let me know when you're done, OK? OK, I'm done. Thank OK. You. Gonna stop sharing. You guys know what you're working on, correct? Yes.
Amber, did you have a question? Sorry, no, my hand up was from before. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Miss Blanca, I'm going to email you when I'm done with my percent. Okay, uh, no problem. Bye. Bye.